Is this it? Is it finally happening? A perfect time indeed to reveal the name. You say reveal like people don't know already. Well, I must admit, it has been hinted at here and there. Would you like to do the honors? My good friend, I believe that I have taken enough of the spotlight. Well, in that case, welcome everyone to our new podcast called Radio Static. We have quite a bit to talk about, so I suggest starting with some disclaimers. Oh, definitely. The first and probably most important one is, if you're here to see some fancy editing or the usual content, I immediately suggest clicking off. This broadcast is a place for us to spread our wings and speak freely of everything. A lot of behind the scenes will be talked about, a lot of fan art will be shown, and in my personal opinion, a lot of interesting subjects will be discussed. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the long-awaited podcast. Speaking of podcast, let's talk about the name. Wouldn't it be better if we talked about us first? Don't be silly, my dear. We already addressed the fact that we are not dating hundreds... That's not what I'm talking about, Al. I'm talking about us as in Has Been Hotel, the original show we are based on. I think you're right, dear. We would like to make a full-on disclosure and say that we are not voice actors from the original show. And none of what's going on in our videos is canon to the original show. We are just voices generated by artificial intelligence, and everything that you see, everything that you hear, is done by one guy alone. We do not want any lawsuits or strikes from Has Been Hotel. This also explains why it takes so long for us to release these so-called videos. So that's why we prefer to just lose subscribers and have actual loyal viewers that know the truth about the channel. What about the lore? What lore does the Has Been Hotspot have? When it comes to the lore, which is, by the way, not canon. We want you to think of it this way. Has Been Hotel is a show, and we are the actors starring in it, while Has Been Hotspot acts like a behind-the-scenes of the original show. This explains why me and Alistair are friends, Angel Dust and Husk are dating, Loot and Adam are very close friends, and so on and so forth. Just like movies, am I right? Exactly. So if you want to keep supporting us, be our guest. If not, we understand. But enough about us. We are dying to talk about you guys. Have we passed the one minute mark? We are at two minutes and 30 seconds as of right now. In that case, I would like to say that your art is fucking amazing. I must agree with Fox. The work you guys sent us was beyond words. Say it. Say what? Say that it was fucking amazing. I don't think it's necessary to say such words. After all, we have a lot of children watching our videos. Dude, you haven't cursed once. Not here, not even on TikTok. You have to say it. I find your desire very childish. Do it for the fans. Don't you dare play that card with me! Remember how everyone lost their shit when you cursed at Lucifer? You have to do it! Fuck it. The art you guys sent us was out of this fucking world! You finally did it! I'm so proud of you, buddy. Just shut the fuck up and get to the point. Right! The art! I think you owe them an explanation and an apology. Guys, some of the art you sent us was amazing. It was so nice to see people actually putting in hard work and making amazing artwork that they send us for these videos. But sadly, we couldn't use them all. Mainly because a lot of it was just, well, you guys know what I'm talking about. But mostly because my friend Vox fucked up and forgot to fill in the details. Thank you for that, Alistair. And by details, he means the dimensions. The pictures have to be 1920 by 1080. Sadly, I forgot to mention that, and most pictures were just too small and too low quality to use in the video. Not to mention the fact that a lot of them were just too much to even show on the podcast. But instead of letting all of that hard work go to waste, we decided to launch a brand new series where we're going to be reacting to those special types of images. On this episode of the podcast, we will be showing a total of 11 images, including the one you see right now. But that's not all. At the end of the podcast, we are going to be highlighting even more artwork that you guys sent us. We replied to a lot of you guys, so please, next time, don't listen to Vox. Make sure that the image is 1920 by 1080 and make sure to sign your artwork. After all, you made it and you deserve all the rights to it. We had to manually zoom, crop, and adjust a lot of images you guys sent us, including this one, which is done by Zerichin. He's actually the first person to make our own logo, but not just any logo, one that is inspired by the original show. We loved it so much we used it as the banner for our channel, not to mention the fact that we had to include his image as the first one on the podcast. So if you're interested in his work, go follow him on Trick Truck. Are you trying to make Trick Truck a meme or something? What can I say, my weather channel having friend? It has a certain charm to it. 
Weather Channel? Really? Anyway, shall we move on to the next image? It has been five minutes since the video started, so yeah, let's do it. By the way, as the video goes on, you will see what we mean when we say manually crop, zoom, and fit. We're gonna show that on the third image. Now let's talk about this fucking masterpiece. As the young kids say, it do be bussin' respectfully. Don't ever fucking say that again. Yeah, it's best that I don't- That was bad. It was shit, wasn't it? Total shit. Fuck me. I'd love to. What? What? Well, this is awkward. The fact that the podcast is called Radio Static doesn't help. I just thought people would like it. The name itself is good. It's easy to remember. And you kind of give the people what they want, you know? I suppose so. Can we just move on to the art? I think it's best that we do. By the way, are we allowed to show those cans? You mean the Pepsi and Coca-Cola? Yeah. Well, I imagine it's fine. In fact, I think it's rather accurate. Now that you mention it, yeah, it suits us, doesn't it? Yes, this is a good time to mention the fact that this art is done by Chaos Painter. The art style, the quality, the details, everything, it's just amazing. Chaos, thank you so much. By the way, he did send us another one. It's just that that particular art style was a bit too much for the podcast. Yeah, you guys send us a lot of edgy shit. This fan base truly is both a blessing and a curse. Oh, let's talk about that. I've read so many comments that I remember to this day. I believe we were talking about it a couple of days ago, and I remember you showing particular delight towards a very specific type of comment. Yeah, so uh, this goes back to when we were posting on TikTok. May I, for a moment? Oh yeah, sure buddy, what do you wanna say? I just wanted to mention the fact that just because we now have a few tube channel, that doesn't mean that we won't be posting on Trick Truck anymore. It's just that everything is run by one person, as you already know, and financing has been the biggest issue for us. So we'll be posting on Trick Truck a little less, but we won't stop, at least for now. Yeah, time management is a bitch. We're still trying to get monetized on YouTube, we're still in the early stages, and we are definitely struggling. But hopefully we will finally be able to finance the channel, so we can hire some people to help us with the workload. Anyways, you were saying about Trick Truck? Oh yeah! So when we were posting on TikTok, I always found one particular comment heartwarming. Well, I say particular, it's more of a particular style. I believe it went something like this. Babe has been hotspot just posted. Dude, those types of comments were fucking heartwarming. The thought of thousands of people being absolutely delighted to witness our content truly brought an unforgettable smile on my already smiling face. I'm telling you, man, that shit kept me up at night. Like, I would have Premiere open on the PC or laptop for that matter, and then I just have the comment section open on my phone. So anytime I got tired or exhausted or sleepy, I would just look at those comments on my phone, and I shit you not, that kept me going through so many nights. It definitely became a brand new lifestyle for us. I mean, we were either scripting, editing, answering emails, planning, like that is our lifestyle to this day. And truth being told, while it does become exhausting at times, you guys help us keep going. So thank you all so much again. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. Now that we're done talking about what your favorite types of comments are, I feel like it's only fair that we talk about mine next. Just please don't say anything bad. I actually enjoy the shipping and edgy comments you guys send us. Dude, that is literally the worst fucking thing you could have said. Okay, just hear me out on this one. I've always found people expressing their opinions interesting. And besides, it's not like any of them actually mean it. In fact, I like to believe that all of it is done in a humorous intent. So if someone texts you at 3 a.m., come out Pookie Bear, I'm oiled up and my chest is ready. You'll think that they're just joking? My dear, I think all the sleepless nights are finally getting to you. Of course they're joking. By the way, what does oiled up mean? Okay, first of all, fuck you. Second of all, trust me, they're not joking. Third of all, don't even get me started on oiled up. By the way, we're not joking. We actually get messages like that. Dude, I swear to fucking God, our email is like a mix of amazing art, heartwarming messages, and creepy fucking letters that make you want to call 911. Wait a minute, does 911 even work in hell? Nah, it's all rigged. I remember one email in particular. I believe it said something along the lines of, This is for you, Pookie Bears. Yeah. And the worst part of it was the picture they sent. It was just a photo of us talking. Let's save it for another video, shall we? Dude. That was so fucking bad that I don't think we can even show it on any video. Yeah, and this is kind of where the problem comes in. We want to show your work on the channel. After all, we owe it all to you. But we need you guys to understand that there are just some things that we can't show. Some? Dude, 70 fucking percent! Yeah, it was pretty bad.
By the way, I would like to clarify that the art itself wasn't bad. If anything, it was some of the highest quality we've ever seen. The fact that we can't show it anywhere is the bad part. However, the art we can show has already been saved and filtered. The absolute best ones will be shown on the podcast, and the rest will be highlighted at the end of the video. So please make sure to sign your art whenever you send it, and don't forget the 1920 by 1080 format. I think this is a good time to move on to the next picture. I swear to fucking God, it gets better and better each time. Just look at those details. The fact that there is a light saying radio static just makes it so much better. Sadly, we couldn't get the original artist to respond to us on email, and the signature he provided at the bottom of the picture is almost impossible to read. So sadly, we can't give a shout out to the creator of this amazing artwork. But if you're the creator of the art and you're watching this, get in contact with us via email, and we will make sure to give you a shout out in the next episode. Can we just pause for a minute and take into consideration how much more amazing art we will receive after this broadcast will air? It's definitely going to be a lot more. I mean, this channel is growing like crazy, and ever since we asked the viewers for some artwork over on TikTok, we had literally thousands of images sent. And I hope you guys can understand that not all of them will make it onto the podcast, because the fan base is just getting bigger and bigger each day. That is quite a good point, actually. At the time of recording this broadcast, the FewTube channel has crossed 16 and a half thousand subscribers, not to mention the fact that our Trick Truck page has went well beyond 200,000 followers. And even now, as we speak, we are being flooded with images over on our mail. So it's safe to say you guys are going crazy, and we are so thankful for that. Yeah, but we do have something we would like to ask you guys. Please don't spam messages. If you made multiple pieces of art or you corrected something, that's fine. But we have many cases of people just spamming the same message and image multiple times. So please don't do that. In all honesty, the repeated letters being sent is perfectly bearable by me. The thing that I find very aggravating is stealing. That's kind of rich coming from a demon Can like- you shut the fuck up for a moment? Yes, sir. Lovely. As I was saying, I find it quite annoying when people take others' art or a genuine image generated from artificial intelligence and send it as their own. The whole idea was to show off work that takes a lot of time and effort. And I'm sad to say that we have found a couple of people that were using images and art that belong to someone else. So please don't do that. You know, I never thought you would be the sensitive type towards these topics. Well, my dear, I consider myself a man of class. While you are generating some baffled excuse for content, I am making things that truly require expression, time, and effort. And for me to see people take something like that and present it as their own, it's just sickening to my stomach. Speaking of content, why don't we switch the topic to something a bit more interesting, like the upcoming content we have planned for this channel. Why not start with the existing content? Why not say fuck it and do both? The trailer was probably the biggest letdown in my opinion. What makes you say that? Well, for starters, the amount of technical difficulties we've experienced after the trailer led to all of the projects we had getting scrapped. This includes the fan art video, the Q&A, even the podcast had to be filmed all over again, not to mention the time and effort it took. You know, I'm the type of TV that believes the following quote. Everything happens for a reason. I struggle to find the correlation between the two topics. Could you elaborate? Well, look at it this way. Sure, everything got delayed a lot more than we expected. But realistically speaking, it's only been four or five days. Not to mention the fact that we got a bunch of amazing ideas, and almost all of them will be used for the upcoming videos. Hell, even the group chat getting leaked. We were so pissed at Angel for leaking it, but when the video aired, people loved it. What are you implying at? The so-called accidental leak ended up being something that we will now be doing regularly. While I agree with the facts that you are showing me, I feel like at the end of the day, it all comes down to perspective. In my personal opinion, not everyone is capable of taking something bad and making good out of it. After all, my dear, we live in this magical place called hell. Positivity is something that truly lacks around here. I absolutely agree, and I also feel like environment is the key in situations like these. Not all of hell is that bad, we've even seen it in the show ourselves. Cannibal Town is a place where positivity is not that hard to find, and I think it mainly has to do with the balance of life and perspective. 
While I adore Cannibal Town, you have to remember that it's a place that openly allows people to eat one another. But I do suppose that the mindset and perspective play a key component in all of this. At the end of the day, we're in hell. Just how positive can you get? I agree. And I also think that people don't pay enough attention to their surrounding environment. I mean, I've seen people that struggle a lot with positivity and not even realize that the environment is the problem. You know, we've said that word so much that I think it's time to switch our environment to a different one, if you're catching my drift. Totally. Let's switch the image, and while we're at it, switch the topic. For this image, I'm just going to quote the creator, Black Neko 21 I hope the quote explains why you are the host and I am the guest. Dear Has Been Hotspot, I hope that this email finds you well. I had this funny idea that if Alistair did do a video podcast that he'd take it over and rebrand it. And if it upset Vox, then all the better. So I put this together based on a couple of clips from Stayed Gone. I hope you like it. Sincerely, Lizzie P.S. If you need a name to credit, BlackNeko21 is my DA handle. That's the thing, though. You were just talking about how taking someone's hard work and using it as your own is wrong. So I don't think this is something that you would realistically do. Let me finish first, and then we shall discuss that. She did actually reply to our email, and she was very flattered. She also asked to give a shout out to her Twitch account. And I would read it out myself, but since this is a video, I'm just going to show it on screen. Thank you so much, Lizzie. The artwork truly is amazing. Talk about dedication. So what were you saying about her idea? Well, I agree with you, and I don't take back anything I said about stealing and rebranding. One thing I forgot to mention was the fact that we are in hell, and unlike Earth, we don't have morals or standards now, do we? So what you're saying is, because we're in hell and because we are sinners, the same rules don't apply to us as they apply for people on Earth. I'm going to be honest with you, dear. I would do it just to piss you off. But sure, let's go with what you said. You're a piece of shit, you know that? Takes one to know one, shitbox. Fuck you! In your dreams. All right, you know what? Let's just talk about something else. May I suggest a topic? I'm listening. What did you think of our latest video? Adam rating all of the ladies? I don't think I've heard you give your opinion about it. It's funny you mention that because he rated some people that were close to you and also rated some people that were close to me. Yes, Velvet, was it? Honestly, I'm really happy with the rating she got. That young lady has been helping me out a lot with my workload. And by the way, don't underestimate her height. She can definitely put up a good fight. She's one of the Vs, after all. Not to mention the fact that she created all mobile devices and apps in hell. But enough about Velvet, what about Rosie? You see, my dear, I don't expect people to understand Rosie the way I do. I've talked about her so much in the show itself that I'm sure she needs no introduction. And truth being told, I find Adam's rating quite bland and straightforward. She's a very complex character that needs a different approach. How long have you two known each other again? I'm not quite sure. I've actually lost count a long time ago. But to make the long story short, I don't mind Adam giving her that low of a rating. What about Charlie and Vaggy? Any thoughts? Does anyone give a fuck? Seriously? I'll just simply put it this way. If there was something I was upset about, do you really think I would say anything? You are one sneaky son of a bitch, I'll give you that. And besides, people loved that video. And as long as the audience is happy, I'm happy. So the big question is, what can you expect after the release of this podcast? First and furthermost, we have promises to keep. This includes the Q&A video, the fan art video, and after that, you guys can expect another group chat video. I feel like the group chat videos are sort of like predictions for the channel, like what's going to be posted next, what's the title going to be, and so on. I never actually looked at it from that sort of perspective, but now that you mention it, you're right. Okay, we're running low on time, so let's speed the images up a little. We have like seven more to go. You've said it before, and I'll say it again. Deadlines are a bitch. Well said. So who made this amazing piece of art? This amazing piece of art was done by a person by the name of Saturn. Did he ask for any questions? Maybe a shout out? The only shout out he requested was his Instagram page. And Saturn, if you're watching this, I am not even gonna fucking try to pronounce it. You know what I'm wondering? Is anyone even watching at this point? You make a good point, my friend. This is the longest video we have ever made. It's already been like 20 minutes. If you're still here, leave a comment down below that just says, I'm a long one. Only the people who know will know. Someone slap that on the t-shirt and give me 50% of the sales profit. Have you thought about starting a business together? We could sell merch, make some money. I swear to fucking God, you are just feeding the fans with that erotic tone of yours. Also, 
Why do you sound like that friend at 3 a.m.? I'm surprised to hear that you're actually learning some memes. Are you guys watching 3 a.m. memes? Alistair, look, Nifty's bitch came back to life. So good to see you, my friend. How are you? Okay, first of all, fuck you. Second of all, I'm doing great. What brings you to our breathtaking podcast, my good friend? You mean besides the weird and creepy name? Trust me, you'll get used to it. So what did you two think of the latest video? I gotta be honest with you dudes, it was one hell of an experience. I thought everyone down here is just ugly, but holy shit was I wrong. And what did you think, my dear? As long as Adam is safe and sound, I am satisfied. Jesus Christ, loot, if you kiss his ass any harder, you might go right through him. I mean, he does have a point. By the way, I hope no one got offended by anything that I've said. No hard feelings, right? Absolutely not, my dear. Everything's quite all right. We asked you to make it fun, and you did just that. Nice. So why did you call me on your podcast? You see, my dear, people have been loving your appearance on the channel, and many questions occurred about you and loot. If this is some creepy and edgy shit, I'm out. Just let us finish. The questions that they have for you will be for an upcoming video. As of right now, what did you think of the comments? Obviously, I'm very chill about it, because I don't really expect people to understand the fact that I was rating them through my perspective. But there was one comment that sticked out like a sore thumb. I'm actually quite interested on what it is. So basically, someone commented that I shouldn't have given Nifty such a low rating. They said something along the lines of, she's at least a five. Here's something that you dudes don't understand. That one-eyed freak gave me an additional hole. I suggest you watch what you say. Our fans love taking things out of context. And by the way, I didn't need another hole. I had plenty. I can confirm that. You're not confirming shit? Sounds to me like you got traumatized. After what happened to me? Yeah, no shit. It's funny you mention that because I recall your partner ripping her own arm off in hopes of protecting you and staying by your side. Why isn't she traumatized? You did not just fucking say that. He does have a point there, Adam. Did you guys bring me here just to roast me and make fun of me? Don't be silly, my good man. Why in the world would we do that? Nifty already did that for us at the end of season one. Go fuck yourself, shitbox. Adam is not a pussy. No one was calling me that, bitch. Until now. By the way, there are quite a few fans debating on the fact of whether you'll be back in season two or not. Sorry to interrupt, but I think it's time we move on to the next image. Holy shit, that looks dope. Who made this stunning artwork? That would be our good friend, Chris. Not only did he do the artwork, but he also made a full-on video showing the breathtaking process. For some reason, I've always thought that videos like these are kind of satisfying to watch. Totally, dude. You're definitely not the only one here. Me and Loot watch that all the time. I don't know what it is, though. It's just so satisfying to watch the entire process from start to finish. And the music is dope, by the way, so it just makes it that much better. I think we were talking about something. Oh, shit! You're right! Alistair, you were asking something about Season 2? That's right, my good man. I was asking about your return in Season 2. Since we are non-canon, in our opinions don't determine anything regarding the show, why won't you give your opinion on the topic? I feel like at this point the internet is full of theories, right, Loot? It's hard to say in my opinion. On one hand, the fans make a very compelling argument. But on the other hand, we have no control over how the story will be written. But I would absolutely love for Adam to come back as a sinner in season two. It would be cool to see what our interaction would be like after everything. I mean, if you really think about it, Charlie managed to prove me wrong in season one. So following that same logic, if sinners can go to heaven, then angels should be able to go to hell, right? Plus it would be kind of dope to see what my new sinner form would look like. You're actually right, and that's a very good question. Has anyone thought about that yet? I'm not quite sure if this is canon or not, but what your form will look like depends on how you died. Am I wrong about that? Not quite, my dear. It also depends on what you looked like when you were alive. Taking myself, for instance, I take a form of a deer. That explains the antlers. I also have an X in the middle of my forehead, which symbolizes the fact that I got shot when I was alive. Uh, but again, we need to mention the fact that we are not quite sure if any of this information is canon. If anything, it's all speculation. Well, you say that, but at the same time, that explains a lot in the show. So if we go off with that information alone... Please don't tell me that I'm gonna be some one-eyed freak with holes in my body. I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens in season two. One way or another, man, the fan base is super excited to see what happens next. What do you guys think will happen in season two? I'm gonna be completely honest. Apart from my questionable reincarnation, I'm just dying to see what happens with Alistair. By the way, dude, sorry for breaking your staff microphone thingy. It's quite all right, dear, don't worry about that. I'm sure I can just repair it. 
At this point, I feel like the staff is the least of my problems. Do you know there are quite a lot of mysteries and questions roaming about you as well? Like who did you make the deal with? Where were you for the last seven years? People are dying to find out. Do you think he could have been in heaven? It's funny you mentioned that. Zestiel said something similar in episode two. I'm just gonna stop you guys for a second and switch to the next image. Why are the sides blurred? Do you have to like pay for the whole image or? Don't be ridiculous. Our fans would never do that to us. We actually talked about this before you guys came in. The format is wrong, which is why we had to adjust it ourselves to fit the frame. Speaking of art, huge shout out to the creator. Truly an amazing job. I mean, credit where credit is due. That shit is just amazing. You said that it was the wrong format? Did you tell everyone what format was necessary? You can thank our genius marketing expert for forgetting to do that. Anyway, we were talking about Alistair being in heaven. No way, dude. Someone had to tell me if that was the case. Otherwise, I would have accidentally killed him in heaven. You had one lucky swing, and this is the result? Are you seriously just gonna sit here and ignore the fact that your cockiness was literally the main reason of you almost dying? I mean, the entire fight was just you talking shit and thinking that you can win without breaking a sweat. I must admit, I underestimated the range and strength of your attack. That doesn't necessarily mean that you won. All you managed to do was simply get one lucky hit while I was off guard. It's a fight to the death! Was I supposed to wait for you? I feel like if Adam does go to hell, a rematch between these two will definitely happen. Yeah, but at that point, it's just unfair. Alistair has been in hell for years and will easily take out Adam. Just think about it. A simple sinner has no chance against the strongest overlord in all of hell. Whatever dudes, me and Loot are out of here. We have very important work to attend in heaven. Like what, making your boss a sandwich? You know damn well I make the best sandwiches in heaven. I can confirm that. Of course you can. Anyway, any final words for the audience before you leave? Subscribe to the channel and comment Adam and Loot if you want to see more of us. We would love to make more appearances on the channel. See you losers in the group chat. Take care, you guys. Fox, my dear, we are running quite low on time. Besides the podcast, we also have a trick truck to record. Are you saying it like that on purpose? Or are you actually just fucking stupid? I think it's time to move on to the next picture. Holy shit, this one is actually adorable. Who made this? This very attractive and young lady named Charlie. Not to be confused with our Charlie from the show, she did have a lot of art regarding the has-been hotel on her instant gram, so you guys can check those out. You know what's something we've never done before? Sex? Don't be stupid. You're right. How could I forget that night? Can you stop feeding the fans? You're making this worse for the both of us. Speak for yourself, shitbox. As I was saying, we never really got to sit down and talk about what we really like about each other. I mean, sure, we hate each other in the show, but what about here? Is there anything that you actually like about me? What in the actual fuck are you talking about? I mean, I like your character. I like how you're always smiling. I like your positive attitude. And I genuinely feel happy that we're business partners and close friends. You're freaking me the fuck out here, Vox. Is there really nothing that you like about me? Are you not happy to work with me and build this empire? Of course I do, my dear. I enjoy your company. I enjoy your strong charisma. I just don't understand why you decided to talk about this now. It was a suggestion from one of the fans, and I decided to mess with you a little. Oh, you flat-faced motherfucker. Who's feeding the fans now, you cunt? Oh, shit. I didn't think about that. Yeah, no shit. Don't worry. It's almost been 30 minutes. No one's going to be watching this far. Oh, really? I recall the first time we ever posted a video on TikTok. I remember you saying, this won't work. There's no way this is going to blow up. And here we are now. And by the way, for everyone still watching, we've been recording this podcast for over three days. Yesterday, we were at 16 and a half thousand subscribers. Today, we're approaching 18,000. So chances are... Uh, almost everyone is still watching. And by the way, the workload is not getting any easier on us. After we're done with the podcast, we have to immediately go and film another TikTok, and then get shrinked back into working on another new video, which by the way is going to be about your fan art. So keeping up with the demand has definitely been harder than we could have ever thought. Before you continue talking, we're running a little low on time, so I feel like we should move on to the next image. We only have three left, after all. This one was done by Pterosaurus.rex. Also, a very cute and adorable art style, so feel free to check the Instagram out if you want to. I hope we're not too late to the podcast. With a name like Radio Static, we didn't really want to come in the first place. Angel Dust, Husker, so good to see you guys. Please, take a seat. How was your day? Is everyone gonna just shit on my idea of the name every time they come onto the podcast? 
Have you guys answered the long debated question yet? At this point, it just feels like everywhere we go, all we see is that question. And it's not like we don't have an answer or anything like that, but it's just everywhere. From TikTok to YouTube to email. What are you two talking about? Oh, I think you know better than any one of us what we're talking about. Where the fuck is Charlie? Where the fuck is Lucifer? And where the fuck is Vaggy? I mean, speak for yourself, Princess. I've only been seeing Charlie's and Lucifer's name pop up. Poor Vaggy. It's bad enough that no one gave a fuck about her in the show. First of all, it's Vaggy. Second of all, she has a lot of fans as well. You just can't see them because you're half blind. It's come to my attention that you two are not in the best mood today. Anything we can do to lighten the mood up? Save us the fucking headache and answer the question. Very well, Husker. Charlie, Vaggy, and Lucifer are currently on a holiday. It was initially supposed to be a one-day visit, but it ended up being a vacation that's going to last for another month or so. Wait a minute. We never actually addressed this question? What do you think? The worst part is, we didn't even know if we were allowed to answer it. And trust me, I had my fair share of experience with spam, but this, this shit is on a whole nother fucking level. It's gone to a point where I can't even shit in peace. Can you imagine not being able to take your own phone with you while you're taking a shit? You know you don't fucked up when my whiskers is pissed. Call me whiskers one more time, see what happens. Okay, okay, I'm quiet. Holy shit. Sorry, guys. Looks like work has really taken a toll on us. Speaking of work, I think it's time to move on to the next artwork. Holy shit, that looks awesome. What's with the weird blur on the sides? I'm sure that's not how the picture came. It has a different format from the video, so we had to crop, zoom, and add some blur to make it look good. And who exactly is the smartass that forgot to tell everyone? I think you're looking at him. Am I right, shitbox? Why is everyone that comes onto the podcast shit on me? Well, we can't help it, Daddy. Your face is just too perfect to resist. Not to mention the fact that you're always the one who's busting our balls. Talking about how you're the boss of everything. So I think you've earned it. Vox, dear, but shouldn't you say who made this art? If these two lovebirds will shut up, I just might. The stage is yours, big man. You're welcome, by the way. We've talked earlier on the podcast about how we check the images to make sure the person who sends us them is actually the original artist. And you're mentioning this why? Well, I mentioned that because the original artist who sent us the image didn't really specify any shout-outs that he wanted. In fact, this was one of the first images that was sent to us after our TikTok was posted. I'm not sure I like where this is going. Sadly, neither did we. Vox did his magical searching on the internet, and we've discovered that the original image belongs to someone named Void Seeker. We don't even know if that's the real name or not. What makes it worse is that it was posted on April 21st, 2021, and we're not sure whether it's someone just trying to get attention, or maybe it was a misunderstanding, or maybe it really is their original artist. One way or another, we're not taking any risks. But credit where credit is due, the image is absolutely amazing, and shout out to the creator of it. Yeah, well, good luck finding that, twerp. Also, I think it's best if you guys just skip this image and move on to the next one. You say next, but it's actually the last one we have for today, so let's get to it. How long is this podcast going for anyway? We have just crossed 33 minutes. I can't tell if Angel Fangs is the actual name of the artist or if it's just part of the image. Hey, by the way, why couldn't you guys post the podcast yesterday? Were you that drunk last night? I don't know, babe. I remember responding to some comments, but I forgot the part when they told me the reason. To make the long story short, we didn't want to upload a 15-minute piece of shit video and call that the first episode of Radio Static. Making quality content such as these take time, my darling, and we will most certainly take all the time we need to make sure the audience are satisfied with the final result. So this is it? These are all the images that you guys have? Don't be stupid, we have so much more. And if anything, we hope after this video we will be receiving even more images that we can use for the next episodes. Indeed, and hopefully this time they will be the right format and the right size. Wait a second! You squirmy motherfuckers didn't forget the IRL art, did you? Of course not. That would be a traitorous decision towards our fans, which is why we simply saved them all for the end of the video. And when exactly is that going to be? Thank you so much for asking, Husker. Let me guess, right now? That's exactly. correct. Did you guys at least include my fan art? What the fuck is that? You guys really love Vox, don't you? How much do you want to bet that these are all made by kids? Don't make it weird. That's adorable. Day by day, I am more and more surprised by just how loyal our fan base is. I definitely agree. Some of these took hours of work, and we couldn't just leave it without any attention. I mean, Husk has a point, Dollface. 
We have a lot of loyal fans. And that ain't something that a lot of people have, you know. That's exactly why we are so grateful. And we genuinely try our best to give all the attention we can to the community. So the cat's out of the bag, huh? People know that we're not has-been hotel? Yep. So everyone knows that we're just voices generated by Eleven Labs? That's correct. And everyone knows that the entire channel is run by just one 20-year-old boy. As you said, the cat's out of the bag. We care too much for the fans to lie to them, so if this is the end of Hasbin Hotspot and people start hating us, so be it. If that does happen, we had a good run and no regrets. Let's see how the fans react, I guess. If you made it this far, thank you so much. We really appreciate your support. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.